I'm going to be teaching you how to download any sort of workshop file and turn it into actual code in a folder so you can edit it, create a new one, just get it as a template. Now, before we start, we need to uh, need to get a download from the description, download it. I'll be showing you how it works, but first download it. Cool. Now, after downloading, you're going to first have to find out if you don't if you already know. Skip a bit ahead, but if you I'm doing this for beginners as well. If you don't know how to get to we're going to have to get to your Steam library folders folder. Now, to get to it, you need to first go on to your Steam. You need to go to Steam, Settings, under the Steam icon like there. Go on to your Settings. It will open this. Now, you need to go down to you see Download. Click it. Then click Steam Library Folders. Now, that's going to open up uh, this. This is two choices of what you can use on it. Uh, what you can use, I mean, on the... On your where your games get saved at, you can make multiple if you've got multiple hard drives. Now, I use mainly Steam, my Steam library, my e my e uh, drive. Now, uh, my yeah. So when you found your th uh, location, you need to go to it. So now mine's E, and then there I look. See, it's in here. Steam, Steam library. I'm gonna go on Steam library. Steam apps. Okay. Now common. Then you find the game. So say you want to get a uh, workshop item for Gary's Mod, then you go to Gary's Mod. Then into Gary's Mod, go into Gary's Mod again. And add-ons. Now, while we're here, we can close this now. You can pick any one you want. So for the time being, I'm going to pick a small one, something not too over the top. I've got a lot, as you can see. So let's say... Uh, hmm. Crowbar Rainbow. That's the skin. Now... I've dragged it into here. This is what you're going to download from the description. This is called gmadconverter.exe. Now I'll show you how it works. It is a simple drag and drop onto it. Okay? It will run all that shit, and the file will come out. You see? Now, materials, models, weapons, crowbar. You see? So you can do this as many times as you want. You can technically run multiple if it's a big, uh, uh, uh what you call it, file or uh, add-on. So you can say do another. One. This is a M9K. You can do it, it's as quickly as drag it in, drag it on, drop, and it will put it in the file that it's currently in. See, it can take a bit of time. Uh, <clears throat> I'll just exit it for now because I don't really need these files. I'm just showing, see, it's in there. If I'd carried on, it would have fully got in there. See, it's creating the files. Now, it's as simple as that, you know, like uh, four steps. That's all you need to do. Thank you guys for watching. If you have anything you want me to do, please just put it in the comments and I will do it. Please uh, like if this was helpful to you or you just want to like, like it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Bye.